Alright guys, so a lot of persons has been asking me how do you go about booking your flight for um, work and travel? Now, um, for me personally, I always use Google Flight to book my flight, but other persons use like the the airline app. You can use the airline app. You have persons that um, they use like Expedia or the airline website. It varies um, based on your preference. But I always use Google Flights. So I'll just do a quick rundown of how to go about booking your flight on Google Flights. All right. Um, so I'm going to do. So basically, you type in the location that you're leaving from and the location that you want to go. Now, say for example, I'm using my last year location for privacy reason. So last year I left from Kingston and I wanted to read Sioux Falls Air Airport that's in Dakota. So I type it in as you can see here. Flight from Kingston, Jamaica to Sioux Falls, Dakota. So Dakota, right? Once you do that, um, you go down and you'll see Google Flight right here. This one in the middle right here, so yeah. Um, you can also type in googleflights.com or so, and it will give you directly. But I always like to type in the location, and then it shows me everything. And then you'll see the option that says search on Google Flights, and you're gonna do that. All right. Um, now we're going to filter our search to our preference. Right. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from round trip to one way. All right, and then the next thing is I'm going to filter the date. So I'm going to use an, uh, as an example May 1st, right? Say I want to leave May 1st, but um, what I want to do first is look and see if there's any cheaper dates. And uh, right now, as of now, all the dates are the same. So I can go ahead with May 1st. But normally, guys, I'd say look and see if any dates are there that are cheaper and it's within your time frame where, when you can leave. So if I want to arrive, um, say the 4th of May, you know you have two to three days that you can reach your employer. So I'll say I'll leave the 1st of May. It's a high chance that I'll reach either the same day or I'll reach the next day based on the, the flight time. All right, so I'm gonna choose May 1st, click on done. All right, now once you do that, it'll give you a, li a list of airlines and times that are available you can also go further to filter your search based on the airlines um, and it'll give you the, the list of airlines and you can filter it however you want but I want to see the options first before I go ahead with the airline so I'm not going to do that all right and you can also filter to the amount of stops that you want now most of the flights they have layover and they have more than one um, stop so, so um, I don't normally filter this but you can also do that but uh, normally it tends to be more expensive so I just always just go with whatever I get alright so here are the dates that are available so it's showing me here are the, sorry, the flights it's showing me for 9 a.m. to 11.32 and it's a 14 hour flight right so um, nine o'clock in the morning and i'll reach 11 o'clock in the night right and it's only one stop and that's in atlanta and it's showing me for 54 thousand, right and then i have another flight it's showing me i leave two o'clock 2 17 in the evening in the afternoon and i'll reach 12 12 48 the next day and this flight is for 22 hour right and then it's a two stop right and then um, the same thing as well it's showing me this, the same thing as well, but this one is for 21 hour and it has two stops as well. And these have overnight layover. Now, um, the flight that I'll choose, I have two options here, right? Um, the two options would be, I can go with the one that leaves 9 o'clock in the morning and reach 11 o'clock in the night. Or I can choose the one that leaves in the afternoon, but it reach the next day, um, 12 o'clock in the night. So for now, I'm going to go with the first option. Alright guys, pay attention to the arrival time when you're booking your flight because if I was actually booking a flight, I would choose a different day seeing that this flight, most of both of them are arriving at midnight, right? So you also want to pay attention to the time that you will be reaching in your, your final destination when you're booking your flight and ensure that it's something that is um, workable with you. 
right so um if i was going with this right i would choose another day and see what are the times available for another day right you click on it and it'll give you a rundown of the flight you can see more in-depth information as it relates to the flight um, it shows you the time that each of the you know will be departing etc etc how long the layover will be as you can see for here it's only one stop and the layover will be for eight hours right now say for example I want to go with this flight the next thing that you do wait before I go there if you if you decide that you're not going to book the flight now but you just want to track it and you know keep up to date then you put on this little toggle thing right here and basically what it does is it allows you to track your flight right so it will send you emails and updates to let you know if the flight price gone up or it gone down you know give you regular updates via email and that's how you can track your flight and you can do this with multiple um flights so you can even go back and go on the other two of them and decide to put on a notification to track those other two flights because sometimes some of them might start out cheap and then later down the line it gets pretty high and then also some of them start out um, very expensive and then later down the line it gets very cheap so it varies right but you can also go and you see the baggage baggage information more information but we want to book the flight so we're going to click on view more options and it shows you the you know the different categories of the flights um the classes you have basic main cabin first class etc etc no i want to go with basic economy because that's always the cheapest option so i'm going to click on continue and once i click on continue it's going to take me over Right. it's going to take me over to the um, airline website and for this one it's Delta right I'm just waiting on this to load up right um, it's going to take me over to Delta airline um, agreed to the terms and conditions yes I'm using my school Wi-Fi and it's extremely poor so a little patience with me all right so basically it's going to give you the information all right it's going to give you the information here about the flight i understand um and it also gives you the option to for 40 extra dollars you can move up to main i think last year that's what i did when i was um coming down i went up to main it was like 40 dollars so why not all right, so it shows you what you get in basic economy and what you get in main cabin. So forty dollar extra, it doesn't, it's not a lot. So I'm going to move to main, right? But this is so um, completely optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. All right. So the next thing that you'll do is it's going to give you the option to choose your seat right um i like the window seats so i'm going to go with a window seat right now um in the main cabin it's showing you the seats that are available right so i'm going to go as an i'm just going to choose some random window seat <laughs> for now so i choose this one right here and it's telling you the location right um so once you do that you're going to go to the next flight because remember it's two flights in total so you're going to go to the next flight and it's going to ask you to choose your um seat for that one as well so go down to main and i'm going to choose another window seat all right so you choose it um why is it giving me money i'm gonna choose somewhere else why is it it's telling me that i have to pay extra for those seats so i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to click on the middle one for now and then it's going to save and exit all right i'm just waiting on this to load all right so it's giving him like more information etc it's showing it's showing me the amount that's due and you know information on the flight etc so i'm going to scroll down and it's going to give me the option to continue review and then pay all right so it's showing me information about my seating um, my baggage and stuff like that um 
So now I'll have to insert my information. So once I insert my information here, um, then um, I'll just go all the way down where it's asking about payment information. So I'll insert my payment information and it shows the type of cards that it accept. It shows the type of cards that they accept and Delta, right? Um, so you put in a payment information um, and then once you do that, then the next thing would be to, you know, go ahead and book that flight. And then the next thing would be to confirm the booking. And it's easy as that. But because this is not my flight, I'm not going to go any further. But yeah, so that's how you go ahead and book your flight um, for the work and travel. Um, if you have any additional questions that is outside of this video, once it's something that I can help you with, go ahead and shoot me an inbox on any of my social media and I'll help you as best as possible. Bye.